Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Moore is here. I hope all is well with you. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at simplifying a ratio of multivariate monomials. So we're going to continue simplifying these uh, ratios with multivariate monomials. So same concept here. So now we have 25 over 10, u to the first over u to the third, v to the third over v to the third. So the 25 over 10, now remember, you just simplify that. You find the common factor that are going to both of those numbers, and that's how you simplify the 25 over 10. So we have 25 over 10. Uh, u to the first over u to the third. V to the third over v to the third. That's understood one there. All right, so... I know that 5 will go into 25 and 10, so 5 will go into 25 5 times, 5 will go into 10 2 times. The u to the first over u to the third, I'm going to subtract 3. The v to the third over v to the third, I'm going to take use my quotient rule and subtract the 3 in my denominator from the 3 in my numerator. Okay, so what I have now, just to write it out, I have v. Uh, u, or I'm sorry, 5 over 2, and then u to the negative second, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and then v to the 0 power, 3 minus 3 is 0. So a quick tip here, if you have the, a variable with the exact same exponents in the numerator and denominator, just cancel them out. You don't even have to deal with them. You don't have to subtract those exponents like I'm doing here and showing you. I'm showing you why, but you don't have to do that. So... Keep it in mind, anything to the 0 power is 1. So that's really just 1, and 1 times whatever you have is just going to be that number. So, All right, so now we have, uh, we have to be concerned with this u to the negative second power. Remember, if you have a base with a negative exponent, uh, you want to move it to the opposite place. So if it's in your numerator, you want to move it to your denominator to make the exponent positive. If it's in the basis in your denominator with a negative exponent, you move it to the numerator to make it positive. So in this case, we're going to take that u to the negative second, we're going to move that base down to our denominator, and that will change the sign of the exponent. So since that's just 1, the only thing I have left in my numerator is 5 and then over 2u to the second. So I used my quotient rule, and then I saw I had a negative exponent, so I needed to move that to the opposite place to make that exponent positive. Okay, so let's try another one. We have 36 times yz, y to the first, z to the first, all over 6 times y to the third, z to the second. Okay, so 36 over 6, again, we can simplify that because 6 goes into both of those. The y to the first over y to the third, we're going to uh, subtract the 3 from the 1. Same thing with the z's, subtract the 2 from the 1. one in my denominator which we don't have to show uh, six times one minus three is negative two y to the negative second and then one minus two is negative one so z to the negative first so you see that both of my variables have negative exponents so I need to move both of those variables since they're in the numerator with the negative exponent I need to move them to my denominator which will change the sign of the exponent will make the exponent positive so my final answer, the 6 stays in the numerator. It doesn't have an exponent on it, negative exponent, so it stays where it is. The y and the z move down, and since I have this y and z down here, I don't need anything else. I definitely didn't need that 1 anyway. So y squared, z to the first, and that's understood. So we can mark that out, Take, erase that. And your answer will be 6 over y squared, z.
Alrighty, good people. So again, the key here is to use your quotient rule. And if you have negative exponents, take those bases, move them to the opposite place to change the sign of the exponent. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you.